Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are back in our factory where we're going to um, explore the Whistle Stop Factories mod. Um, and we just started to build our starter base, um, just the kickstart kind of tiny little base with the mall and all that kind of stuff, and it's fun. Uh, yeah, but we need a lot more materials, and we don't have those just yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there very, very swiftly, I hope. And, um, but we're, we just fed in some iron ore in the last episode. So I'm anxious to start in the coal, which we could do right now as it happens. So let's do that. Let's just take the coal in from here. Oh, wow. That's very handy. Can remove these labs because we're going to be switching them to another location. Do need to move that uh, power pole. And I need to rearrange my hotbar a little bit here just make sure i have things in the right slots because i have the, the muscle memory is so strong for these things ah yes and we need to make this an output priority to the right we always want the power structure fed first beyond uh, before the smelters so that's kind of a necessary thing And we're gonna need more belts and we're probably gonna need more iron in here in the belt making factories okay just put all those in and just get that going oh but look the coal is feeding in yay life is better for the coal thing yay okay and let's get our um, smelters furnaces in line here and also this is the copper side of things we don't want to start feeding in copper too. So I want to probably get more of these made, but yeah. Oh, 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 plates on the line. Hello, life is now better. You can tell, <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh, this is so good. Oh, you have no idea. This is, this is such a thrill already that these things are happening. This is like, yay, life is good. All right, I'm gonna feed in some of these guys, some of the copper into there. These guys are going pretty well, except we're short on power poles, it looks like. Okay, so we need to get these guys sorted out. Uh, I really would like nanobots, but we need some more... Um, these th this is one thing that drives me crazy, is that these power poles in the blueprint change. It's like they're dancing around like, no, 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 you're not going to catch me. No, no, no. It's it's like like here, this thing. It's on two parts of the same square. It's like is it there or not there? So I would I, I'm hoping that maybe one of the devs is watching this and can provide some clarity for like placing these things down. It's it drives me crazy. That's one of the things that's like really odd to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, I know that a lot of changes are coming to the game. I'm so excited to see how the game has evolved. The devs do an awesome, awesome job. They're really, really good. So I'm, I'm really excited to be playing the game kind of like part of the process, even though I'm not really an official part of the process or anything like that. But it's still exciting because watching a game evolve from early access is just really cool and i find that with a lot of games not just factorio but factorio is arguably probably one of my favorite games of all time i mean it is one of my favorite games of all time that is unquestionable um it is definitely a game that i've probably had the most hours i don't know if ever because i've been playing games for a very long time um, and, you know, before the advent of Steam and tracking your hours, it's really hard to tell how long one has spent on, you know, games like Civilization before Steam and such things and, and things like that. So, but anyway, it is very much so one of my favorite games ever. And I really enjoy it. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a box here and just like feed stuff in. Um, do I have an inserter? No, I think that was the problem. I had no inserters. We should make some. Let's make some inserters. Also, it would be nice to have gears going into a box, but... Oh, wait, what was this making? I think this was making inserters, but it can't make inserters because we don't have level 2 assemblers. Yes, that would be a problem. A very big problem. We need to have those assemblers. Um, but we also need copper. Let's get copper. We have to have copper because otherwise nothing will function. 
And copper is all the way down here. Yow. All right, let's get copper rolling along here. I'm just going to take this belt down and just connect it up when I can. All right, let's make a few of those guys. Let's skip these for now. Let's make those undergroundies. Okay. There we are. right these are minimal distance I kind of forgot about that aha hello copper how are you doing just gonna put this down here call it good one two three and it's fine okay okay and then connect up the electricity as such all right and we should be getting copper and we are getting copper boom could stand to use to to feed in some more of this iron though okay because we need to have lots of iron coming into the base not as much needed uh is copper but it is still an integral component of Things like science, that sort of thing. Okay, that goes all the way that way. Get rid of the tree. Okay, and then here we have red science machines ready to serve. Now then, I want to get some power poles put down here. So then we can get these inserters placed and if the power poles are there, you can just like zoom along with the inserters. Though I don't think we need that many inserters. No, no. That's interesting. I wonder why I had so many there. These are all the wrong way as well. All right. I think I missed, I just miss saw this. All right. And since these guys can now grab, might as well shove those there too. Cool. And then we had a box here for green circuits. Um, nice. And I guess we could have a thing for <laughs> power poles. Why not? Put the wood in a box, get it back in the form of power poles. It's all good. There we are. Connect these guys up. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then wood. Let's just shove that in there so that can be automatic. Put that one the wrong way. Okay. Oh my gosh. We have automatic green circuits. <gasps> Life is so good right now. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is very nice. This is really, really nice. Like, nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, like you would talk to a cat. Nice. That kind of way. It really is that special. It's really cool. All right. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Factorio excites me like nothing else. And I don't know why. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the conveyor belts. I really like conveyor belts. Um, I told this story before in my, one of my older series, but I haven't told it recently, so I suppose I might as well. I There used to be a store called Service Merchandise in the U.S., and um, they they had this system by where it's, it's actually quite modern, if, if you think about it. But um, back then it was like, whoa, this is totally like nobody has this happening. Um, and basically you would they would have some cash registers but most of it was um you could order stuff in the store you didn't you didn't take the product to the cash register you just like took the ticket from the item to this little kiosk where you punched in the number and it was like electronic and it would just um you, you could just order stuff and then pay for it and then it would oh my gosh what's going on here Oh, a gear assembler. All right. Um, anyway, and it would, you would do, you would just like pay for stuff. And then you would go to the back of the store and they had this like warehouse in the back. And I guess people worked back there and then shoved stuff through. And um, 
they would put stuff on a conveyor belt. And that was my favorite part as a kid was that you could go to this conveyor belt and pick up your, your, your products that you just bought. And I love to watch it trundling down. It was quite noisy as it happened, but it was, um, I don't know. It was very enjoyable to watch. Uh, and I, I really liked it. So, yep. Funny how things from childhood sort of affect your entire adulthood. Um, <laughs> I've now been playing this game for such a long time, years now, and I never get tired of it. I never, ever, ever get tired of this game. Um, and I've enjoyed it since uh, I found it in uh, 0.12.35 when it came to Steam, as it happens. And um, I've not gotten tired of it since then, so definitely lovely. Here we are. We have science being made. This is excellent. Life is now better. Right? You guys are making science? Good, good. Excellent. Life is now better. You can tell. All right. And make sure we get these guys going on. So yeah, I think that was probably my first, I don't know, but I've always liked systems. Even as a kid, you know, I would like put my my matchbox cars in lines or making them go through a car wash or something like that. And it's just all lines of things moving, you know, but I love, I love conveyor belts for that. It's just these bits going and everything in its place and everything goes in a line and it's nice and friendly and lovely. Okay. And we do need, Oh, science is actually happening. Check this out. This is very nice indeed. All right. Um, we definitely need some more labs. That's for sure. I need iron for that though. Iron must happen. These guys can afford to give me some. Let's make a few more labs, like several. Oh, let's take some of this circuits from the belt. So instead of you guys making 50 circuits, please don't make any circuits. Well, ish. And I want, I need more inserters until we get automation two realized. We're going to have to make all the inserters by hand, which is most multiply unfortunate. And this whole structure can go away. We no longer need to have these guys anymore. So we're going to pick all these guys up. We can of course recycle the furnaces either into stone furnaces or into boilers for electricity making. Now the burner miners, no, they can't be really recycled, but it's not that relevant. We have literally made just a few of them. So in comparison to the thousands and thousands of items we're going to make, we've already have made. Um, in fact, I want to see what does our production graph look like over all time. We've made, we've mined already 7.6 thousand iron. Can you imagine already that much in this beginning of the game? I, people always say, oh my gosh, it's such a waste of burner miners. All right, so we made exactly 18 burner miners, well, plus those two over here. So we made 20, plus we were given one at the start. So honestly, don't stress it. If you have things, uh, if you've made things, don't stress it at all. It's not relevant in the least how many burner miners you use. Uh, okay, so I want to make, I want, uh, I need more belts. I'm not making any green science yet. That's going to be inserters here. And then I forgot what goes there. That's a good question. Um, this goes, belts go here. I'm honestly, oh, these might be undergrounds and splitters. That's what these guys might be. I need to replace the blueprint over here and kind of figure it out. Uh, let's just replace the blueprint real quick. Let's see? Ah, yes, 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 yes. We need these guys. And I'm not sure. Do those... Oh, they can actually be um, the regular factories. Yep. Oh, the splitters can't. Okay, they need more ingredients, but that's okay. Okay, these guys are that way. Oh, we need uh, long-handed inserters. I forgot about those. Oh my gosh, we have way too much stuffs. No, no, no. All right, we got to get rid of stuff. Okay, no more coal needed. <laughs> Same with iron. Let's go. And all the copper. 
put those in these machines here. Uh, and then we have a lot of stuff to handcraft. We could. Um, but we could also drop some in these machines to further their goals in life. And then stone. That's... Oh, that's right. I was going to... Oh, that one ran out of stone. Aha. Oh, that's not necessary at all. Uh, oh, I ran out of coal here. That's inconvenient. I could put a little inserter here. Oh, that's right. That's what that uh, power pole was for. I thought, what needed power over here? And I thought it was the labs, but I thought, oh, it's too far away for that. But okay. I, f I thought that was going to be an output um, chest. And I was like, why did I put an output chest there? But no, no, no. It was just my brain uh, working on a different frequency than the rest of the other parts of the brain. Whatever. Um, you know what I mean. I hope. Okay, let's uh, move this along here. We have labs that we can make stuff with. Yes, here we go. And then we've got two left. Now, the cool thing about labs, and this was added in... I think it was 0 0.15. Might have been... Might have been 13, actually. Is it can daisy chain off of each other. Uh, as long as you have power poles, of course. So... Uh, when we get research, you'll see these guys switching from thing to thing here. Let's get nanobots. Ooh, I don't know if I want nanobots. I want electronics for sure. But see, they can daisy chain off of each other. And this is one of the only structures in the game that can actually do this. Um, but it's definitely worth making use of if you want to. I don't usually do this later game because I like to have like speed modules and stuff going on. But in the early game, it can be quite efficient to do this. Now then, uh, can we make... We don't have Assemblers 2 yet. That's that's not ideal. We need to work for that. I think... Oh, it's here. It's right there. Automation 2 is there. It looks like we might also see a sort of a research queuing system, which looks kind of cool. What the heck happened here? Somehow this got damaged. I wonder how that happened. That is most unusual. All right, in any case, we do need to start making some nanobots as well. I want nanobots. Uh, let's make the emitter, or two emitters. Oh, we can make nanobots already. How exciting is that? Oh, this is good. I um, wonder what goes there. Not quite sure. Can make gears. I really want automation too, so I can start making inserters. Really got to make those inserters. Okay, good. That's the most... Oh, whoa. Hello. Hello, way too many circuits. Uh, yeah, we're going to make... Take them out the box. Yeah, that's better. There we go. That's a lot better. Now then. Um, gosh, there's so much we can do. We can do steel, lab research, speed... Get our tool belt up. That would be very handy. Optics is nice to get some lights going on. But I do need to get these other things made. That's for sure. Um, okay. Optics are done. Steel processing. All right. Now then, we need this thing, structure, to happen. Come on. What have you guys been working on? Oh, they've been working on nanobot emitters. <laughs> it's all good. We'll get it eventually. It'll be fine. All right. These guys, we must have inserters. Come on. Come on, guys. Need inserters. Let's go. I suppose I might as well craft a few while I'm at it. Get some more green circuits from here. I could also probably get gears into a box too. Let's see if I can sn nope, sniggle this thing. Uh, sniggle is probably not the right word. <laughs> Let's get like two stacks worth of those. Um, and this needs to be a blue assembly machine to make splitters yeah all right 
We need power there. And we do need these guys here. Okay, I do need that splitter first. Okay, and soon things will be made. This is so exciting. Oh, and green science is ready to be made too. Very, very nicely. Okay, I do want to get, let's get nanobots range. And once we have a little bit of green science on the line, then I'll start doing some green science-y stuff. But in the meantime, let's get these guys functioning. So we get more uh, iron down here. All right, it looks like we're using up all the inserters for now, but we can steal them off the line, steal the transport belts and kind of fill out this entire area. Looks like we have some of it going, but not all of it yet. Oh, that's what this was making. This was making assemblers too. How nice. Okay. Oh dear. Don't do that. Do not do that. Okay. I want to make these guys uh, and then the miners we need to make as well. Okay, and then assemblers. Love making assemblers in a machine. I kind of wish I knew what the heck that was, but I don't at the moment. But we will find out. We will find out for sure. All right. Um, okay, good. Boom. We have stuff being made. This is fantastic. Look at this. All the arms taking things, moving them around. Life is clearly wonderful for all these products. I love the way the gears look on the line. That's one of my favorite things. Also the, the green circuits. They look so very nice. Uh, all right. So now we need to finish kind of filling out this whole area. We're not at full production yet. Um, but we're getting there very slowly as we're kind of making this stuff. But soon enough, ah, yes, we have the green science on the line. This is very, very good. Um, do need to kind of steal some inserters here. I wonder, we probably could use some fast inserters, I'm thinking. Ah, let me take from the gearbox as well, so we don't have to keep making all the things all the time. Um, okay, these guys are going along. Okay, that's looking okay, just fine. We could use some more labs though, because science is actually backing up right now. And these are doing well. Do we need any more uh, power poles? No, it looks like we're okay on that score. Are we getting any uh, any miners made? Almost. We don't have any gears. Why do we not have gears? Why? Hmm. I wonder if this gear machine... I think it was probably supposed to feed this one as well. Yeah, this needs five gears. Okay. This needs actually faster feeding of iron here. But I don't want to put all of the iron in here because then the miners won't get any either. We have eight miners. This is good. It's like, this is so fun. It's like our fledgling factory. Oh, 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 oh. We need to make some radars. That's one thing that we definitely need to do so that we can explore the area around us um, and not be limited to this tiny area here. Oh yes, green chips. Yep, let's grab those guys. Looks like we're doing pretty well. We do need to get some more of the iron over here though. Ooh, 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 ooh. We need more iron, uh, iron making possibilities. Okay, nice.
Eek. Gotta get rid of these rocks. And then I went and set up some nanobots as well. No, no, that's that's not... Okay. How are we doing? Do we have any more miners? Yes. Yes, we do. Nice. Great. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> this is nice. This is really nice. I can't be the only person that gets excited about factories. Can I? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm so weird in the world that I am. It's just a thing. Anyway, I like them. They're very cool. Okay, cool. Oops. No, 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 no. Don't do that, please. No, no, no. Don't feed that in there. I had them going the wrong way. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, the, the only problem with this thing is that, of course, it takes from the box. But what I should do is I re should research circuit connections here. Can I research circuits? A hundred of these. Wow. But it'll help us. So let's do it. Let's just research them. And to that end, I also want to get labs made as well. Do we have any extra gears? Yeah, we have some gears. We have some circuits as well, which is nice. Let's make these then that way. And also we need to figure out nanobots. I don't think we need either of these. Let me check what they are on the blueprint. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. All right. So they look like something we haven't researched yet. <laughs> they have little, little red X's on them. And I don't know what that means. I'm not quite sure what I had them in here. I think this was taking coal. So I'm pretty sure we had like grenades here or something similar to that. Um, so we're just going to go with that, I guess. But I think that we can make something else instead. So let's just delete all this. We don't really need any of this. We might need this. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's just put straight lines here for now. Um, and we do want to make nanobots for sure. Definitely. So we can make now nanobots, construction bots. Mostly I want construction bots, I think. We need iron axes and repair packs. So this is quite a complicated structure, actually, if you think about it. Let me just get these iron axes. Let me just remove this and get a plain one for making iron sticks, which are here. This is going to make pickaxes. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I have no more ins no more um, inserters. Oh, running out of inserters, that's not good. I need iron for that. Wow. We are now like hitting the limit on, <laughs> on iron. We're using all of it now at this point, which is nice. It's good to see the factory so productive, is it not? Okay. Let's put our power pole in the middle there. And we need a machine to make the nanobots. Which is going here. I've completely forgotten where they live. Okay, nanobots go here. We could have a machine there. Grabbing gears from there. Okay, and this one is going to be making the repair packs from gears. We're also going to get some chips from there. Shove them like this and into a box. Like three stacks of these things. Okay, so how are we doing? Are we getting any iron things? Ah, it would help if we turned the insert of the correct way. All right, let's see this happen. Oh, 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 it's happening. It's happening. Yay, nanobots are here. Excellent. 
Okay, and tool belt. Yes, we can stand one of those. We also need to put down the new labs that we just made in our inventory. And I don't remember how many I made. Apparently exactly the right amount I made. Well then, hello. That was exceptional and um, sort of subconscious counting or something going on there. Fascinating. But these guys definitely can could uh, stand to be speeded up via maybe some fast inserters, I'm thinking, instead of these regular ones here. Or we could just put two regular ones. That works as well. But this needs to be... We need to have faster this happening because this guy is actually slowed down by these things. So let's put a fast inserter there and one there. And I want to get some circuits made, circuit uh, wire, red wire made so that this one do not work unless belts greater than 50 set. Okay. So it's not going to, uh, it's going to have at least a buffer of 50 in there. And I want to do the same for inserters um, because right now we're kind of in a building phase. So if inserters greater than 50, then you can put them on the line. But otherwise I do want some in the box so that I can pilfer them and use them where I need to. All right. Very cool. All right, and I think that seems like a good place to stop. I need, I know I need to get this lab area finished and put down some more inserters, but it is time to say goodbye for today. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.